It's one o'clock on a Wednesday. Back with you here again with a tip for tomorrow. Um, lots of chances today according to the betting. I've never seen uh, such money for bets that I had done. I'd done a Trixie and a treble last night and I've been offered a cash out of five times my stake on one bet and six times my stake on the other. But I haven't budged yet, but... Uh, the sight of money for uh, the three selections today, uh, unreal money. Um, Ellen Valley has gone from eights into uh, five to two. Um, the one of the two ten has gone from open at four to one. I put it up at threes, but it had been at fours. It's gone into six to five, eleven to ten, and uh, Secret Road in the six forty has gone into three to one favourite. So I don't know if the bets been linked or what, but uh, it could be a great day or it could be a so-so day, but. It's in the gods at this stage. Bus was out early this morning. Uh, Jack Warrell was first on, followed by Philip Rice. Christina Davis was singing the blues uh, brilliantly as uh, she tipped up uh, Ryan Moore on his only ride, just a Garner, and it won at an SP of uh, uh, 13 to 2. I meant singing the blues now in a good way, not singing the blues in a bad way. Uh, John Lee was on uh, early. LSC 99, he uh, likes Elm Valley as well. He said a 7 to 1 was a steal last night. I uh, hope he's right. Um, Thomas Balf had a bit of a runny nose. I don't know why. Might have picked a loser or two. I don't know what was wrong with him. Um, I was closing the door of the bus then and I seen the cat dragging over something and I was wondering what it was. So I waited anyway and lo and behold, it was John Curley. From Aircourt in Cundin Agalliva, home from Chicago. Uh, I haven't met that man in a long time. He's living in Chicago, I think, since the mid 80s. Uh, managed the battle we had in uh, Robert's Roadhouse years ago, or Curlier's Colin Robertines. And uh, he was slagging me as per usual. He mentioned a horse that uh, I own one time in Chicago, Miss Fritze. Now, she did win a couple of races. We won one in Minnesota, and we won one, I uh, can't remember what the other one was. But she was unlucky. She was fierce well bred. She was out a, out a Lee immigrant who won the 1970 French Derby and was bred for the turf. But the three times we went to Arlington, it pissed rain morning, noon and night the day before. And the, we were running in a river, basically. And uh, you, you, you don't pull out the horses over there on account of the going because you get paid. You get paid five or six hundred in some of the race or three or four hundred in some of them for running your horse. You don't have to pay entry fees like here. So we got in pen, so we just had to gallop round the track a couple of times in Arlington and uh, we didn't back it because we knew it wasn't off, but we got a few pounds. We had good days out, but uh, he was tempted fate as well by saying that the 29th of May might be a good night to sing the Galway song, but you could be right, Johnny, because we bet you twice already this year and it's hard to beat any team three times in the one year, but uh, we're nine to four underdogs. The betting suggests that uh, we have no chance at all that we might not even turn up, but we might surprise you. You never know. I hear the O's in, in Chicago are in great form this year, uh, um, especially Conry and Gaynor over there. Um, anyway, uh, good enough day yesterday. Uh, that congratulations won in Sligo um, and won easy. Uh, without 74, but came in and uh, won nicely. Uh, Talbot was very unlucky. First time over, eight furlongs. That was up to 10. Nine would have been ideal. There was probably a race in him over nine. And the other one ran uh, disappointed. But anyway, it was a winning day, of, uh, a winning video. So that's the main thing that we, we're keeping. Uh, if we keep winning all the time, we're not losing, as I say. Anyway, tomorrow I thought it was desperate difficult. I went over two days ago, I went over yesterday morning, last night. And uh, I thought it was very bad stuff tomorrow to get to anything. Uh, but I, I came up with one. It's a 340 at Market Raisin. It's uh, nearly a three and a half mile chase. Um Wake Up Early is an eight-year-old gelding uh, out of Doyen. It seemed a moderate enough uh, beast when it was with Francis Flood in Ireland and it was pulled up New Year's Day actually in Tremor. Uh, on his first run for the new trainer, the vet, Dr. Richard Newland, uh, it won a three miles five uh, chase, uh, rated 99. It only went up three pounds and it was third the next time out in Sedgefield and going to soft and then it was second last time out in Sedgefield again and it was over 3 2, but he's a dour stayer, or he appears to be anyway. You want to be sending him early to that uh, six mile race over in Czechoslovakia, whatever they call it. Um, 
But the last race, it, this, this is up two furlongs. Uh, it's a huge plus. He's up three pounds for his last run, up to 105. Um, but uh, the form, the year is in good form as well. It has three wins in the last 10 days and a, and a good few places. You know, it had been out of form for a while, but it's going okay. So I thought that might have a good chance tomorrow. I've no idea the price. Uh, and I would say two pounds win, but I'll check the description later tonight when I see what price it is. As the horse I mentioned is down as a reserve again tomorrow in Tipperary, Golf Martin. Uh, I don't know whether they'll run it again or not, but it's it's uh, it's the first reserve. Um, and it's off 107, and there is a racer to win it without a doubt. I thought they might wait and go in Galway. They might go to Galway again anyway, but if that runs tomorrow, I think it should be backed. Uh, a tip in itself is always when they trouble themselves to go the distance, you know, to... Uh, to from stable to uh, the race course and the step up and trip from two miles to two and a half it was out the back the last twice and it ran on really well like you know it's a, it's a, it's a promising sort it's only a six year old so uh, that might be worth a shot um, he has another one there tomorrow Tony Merton as well uh, Nathaniel's dream but uh, it ran very disappointing it's out Nathaniel over uh, heavy ground just pulled up and soft you'd imagine it would like that much but it didn't so uh Anyway, in the merry month of May, I from my home I started, left the girl to chew my nearly broken hearted, saluted father dear, kissed me darling mother, drank a pint of beer, my grief and tears to smother, then off to reap the corn to leave where I was born, I could have stout like thorn to banish ghost and goblin, a brand new pair of brogues, rattled o'er the bugs, frightened all the dogs on that rocky road to Dublin, one or two, three, four, five, hunt the hare and turn her down that rocky road and all the ways to Dublin. Double and wake a fall, Daldi Ra. In double and next arrived, I thought it such a pity, so be so soon deprived of you with that fine city. Then I took a stroll all among the quality bundle, it was stolen in a neat locality. Something crossed my mind, then I looked behind a bundle, could I find upon my stick a wobbling. Inquiring for the rogue, said my culper rogue, wasn't much in vogue on that rocky road to double and one or two, three, four, five. Hunt the hare and turn her down that rocky road and all the ways to double and make a fall, Daldi Ra. In Mullingar that night I rested limbs so weary Started by the light next morning light And airy took a drop of the pure Keep me hair from sinking That's a paddy's cure When airy's on for drinking See the lassie smile laughing all the while At my curious style to set your heart a bubbling Asked me if I was hired the wages I required I was almost tired of that rocky road To double and one or two three four five Hunt the hair and turn her down that rocky road All the ways to double and make a fall all the the boys of Liverpool, oh, when we safely landed, called myself a fool, I could no longer stand it. Blood began to boil, temper I was losing, poor old Erden's Isle, they began abusing. Hooray, my soul says I'm a shillelagh, I let fly, all the boys were by and seen I was a hobbling. Then with a loud hooray, they joined in the affray, quickly cleared the way to that rocky road. That's the Dublin song out of the way. Good luck. See you tomorrow.